welcome everyone to tonight's celebration of Irish American Heritage Month, sponsored by the Lewis J. Ort Library and the Frostburg State University Cultural Events Series. Tonight we have the pleasure of presenting Greg Latta in this live streaming event from the third floor of the Ort Library on the Frostburg State University campus. Greg Latta is a true Renaissance man in every sense of the word. Singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, educator, producer, director. Greg has earned three individual artist awards from the Maryland State Arts Council and is an award-winning performer on the hammered, dul hammered dulcimer, banjo, guitar, Irish bazooki, citar, harmonica, recorder, Appalachian dulcimer, concertina, and I think the spoons. It is an honor to welcome my good friend and Frostburg State's own Greg Latta to the stage. Well, good evening, everybody, uh, and welcome to uh, something that's brand new for everybody in this room. Uh, the pandemic has, has just upset everything, to say the least. Uh, but if you look for the silver lining, uh, it is the streaming and learning at a distance that uh, have become somewhat comfortable with people. Uh, whether we like, like meeting with Zoom or, or watching concerts like this, it's what we can do regardless of the situation. And for everybody here, this is the first time that we've done this. So for me, the technical challenges have been rewarding. Uh, hopefully everything will work. Uh, I think they've said this. Millions of times, if you have trouble receiving our broadcast, then just reset your computer system uh, and uh, try it again. Also, we're recording uh, the concert so that if you should lose uh, connection, uh, it will be on YouTube for you to watch anytime you want in the future. So uh, we'll just see how it all goes. It is St. Patrick's Day, and I'm gonna start with a song <clears throat> on the Citern which uh, is, I guess it's American Appalachian. It's called The Butcher Boy, and just about everybody has, has covered this song or recorded it. Uh, I have a recorded version on my YouTube channel, so you can, you can watch that. But uh, it's a song about love lost uh, and someone cheating. These are, these are themes that are always there. Uh, and in this particular one, the woman is, is so distraught that she takes her life. Now, I'm sorry, that's never a reason uh, to, to take your life, but uh, this is what happens in the song. So, The Butcher Boy. Deep. 
Put marble stones at my head and feet Go dig my grave so what indeed Put marble stones at my head and feet In the middle of my grave what does show this world that died for love? Ooh. Ooh. In the middle of my grave, for a snow white dove, you show this world that died for love. You show this world. Thank you. <laughs> For those of you watching on YouTube, I have an audience of about 10 folks here. We are properly socially distanced. And I got to put in a plug for Frostburg State University because they have done an outstanding job in handling the COVID situation here. They have done truly a great job. Now, songs about women have been around for years here in America. Well, this is a Celtic song about a lady, and her name is uh, Julia Delaney. Maybe in the future we'll do concerts that are interactive, um, but uh, like I said at the moment, uh, if you just happen to tune in, I do think you can also uh, rewind on YouTube and start the concert back if you would like, or you can just follow us to the end and it's gonna be recorded and remain there so you can watch it again and again and again. I'm gonna switch instruments. This is a sip turn, by the way. And this, this is an instrument that People are more familiar with the, the 12 string guitar. And this is a guild. It's a good friend of mine. And one of the reasons that um, I love guild guitars is because anybody who's ever had a 12 string knows that they tend to go out of tune. <laughs> but this one. 
is in tune. I learned this from the singing of Trina and O'Donnell. Uh, we had Trina here some years ago with uh, Night Noise as part of the Cultural Event Series. Fell in love with the song. This is a truly Irish song. Uh, and it's about how a, a woman will follow her husband no matter where he goes and no matter what he does. Uh, and of course the turnaround today is that uh, we have the flip marriages and so forth, so we have the situation where the man will follow the wife wherever she happens to go. So it just depends. And sometimes they follow each other and go the same place. Do you love an apple? <clears throat> Do you love an apple? Do you love a pear? Do you love a lady with curly brown hair? Oh, and still I love him. I can't deny him. I'll be with him wherever he roams. Before I got married, I wore a black shawl. But now that I'm married, I wear cover all and still. I love him, I can't deny him, I'll be with him wherever he roams. He stands in the corner and a fag in his mouth With his hands in his pockets and he whistles me out Oh, and still I love him, I can't deny him I'll be with him wherever he goes Before I got married I sported and played But now all oh, that cradle she gets in I love him, I can't deny him, I'll be with him wherever he at the pier for nine bob a week on Saturday nights he comes home and drunk oh, and still I love him I can't deny him I'll be with him wherever he do you love an apple do you love a pear do you love a lady with curly brown hair I love him, I can't deny him, I'll be with him wherever he goes. Now when I'll be with him wherever he goes. Thank you. <clears throat> uh. It's nice to see some people here, um, though it's not that different for me. Uh, I have a radio program uh, that I do every Saturday afternoon for those of you who are here in the Western Maryland region. Um, it's from 2 to 5 on 91.9 WFWM, and I think that we are actually doing our, our weekly or our, our yearly fundraiser or spring fundraiser coming up here in just a couple of weeks. So if you catch the show, we'd love to have you come and help support us and pledge some money. This is a song that was on my second record. This is one of those ones I haven't done this in a long time. And so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, another truly Irish song. The Irish are infamous for their love of horses and whiskey. 
<laughs> okay. And uh, this is called the jug of punch. Okay. My my favorite line in the song is is about having uh, a wench on my knee. Okay. Uh, you, you have to take these things in terms of they're they're 150, sometimes 200 years old. So. And on the 23rd of June, oh, as I sat weaving oh, at my loom. And on the 23rd of June, oh, as I sat weaving oh, at my loom, I heard a thrush singing in yon bush, and the song she sang was the jug of punch. Ba di da di 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 Pleasure can a man desire than sitting down or beside the fire? What more pleasure can a man desire than sitting down or beside the fire? And in his hands away jug a punch, and on his knee a tidy wench, fa de dal de day. But it undid the godly little ugly day. Left in my mold, at my head and feet place a flowing bowl. When I am dead and left in my mold, at my head and feet place a flowing bowl. And every young man that passes by can have a drink and remember I fought it all day. But it undid the ugly little ugly day. As I sat weaving oh, at my loom, and on the 23rd of June, oh, as I sat weaving oh, at my loom, I heard a thrush singing in yon bush, and the song she sang was the jug of punch, ba de da de day, ba de da de da da de da 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 if that doesn't go a few years back, I'm going to switch instruments. I'll be doing this throughout the whole concert here. And I'm going to switch to the Irish bazooki, which I'll talk about in a little bit. This is the bazooki. It might look a little bit like the sit turn. It has the same body shape. And it's from the same, the same maker in England. But it only has eight strings instead of 10 strings. And uh, unlike the sit turn, where the strings are tuned in unison, uh, these strings are tuned in octaves. So it's like a 12 string where they are uh, where one string is high and one is low. And it obviously sounds a whole bit different, okay? And yes, all the chords are completely different. So I'm now playing my second or third set of different chords for the evening. So every time I switch instruments, all the chords change. This is uh, the maid that sold her barley. <clears throat> I heard this uh, from a, a group on my show. A lot of the material uh, that I play, I, I get from my radio show. 
Uh, I'll play something on the radio show and go, wow, I like that, and then I'll go learn it. My poor wife has to listen to me sing it 500 times before I finally get it the way I want. But this is a, a song about pressing, uh, and the pressing was a practice that the British um, uh, did uh, 100, 200 years ago, where if they needed sailors for the Navy, they just went into the uh, town and just dragged men off. And uh, that was called being pressed into the Navy. And uh, this man gets pressed at his wedding, on the way to his wedding, <laughs> uh, and his wife goes after him. And you'll see that it doesn't quite turn out uh, for him uh, the way that he thought it should. So the maid that, that sold, or, or no, uh, uh, I guess, I'll, well, no, I did the wrong song. Okay, I'm going to do that song later. This one is the maid that sold her barley. Okay, I apologize for getting my papers mixed up. Uh, we'll, do the, we'll, we'll do that one, the press song, later on down the program. The Maid that Sold Her Barley, this is about a woman who's going to the market to sell her barley, and a nobleman encounters her, and he wants to have her for the night. This is a family show, so I want to elaborate what having her for the night is, okay? But you will see here that um, uh, she's an honorable lady, and she turns him down in a very clever manner so he can't get mad at her, okay? So the maid that sold her barley, okay, let's try to get this right. With snow and then it was winter barely. As I was riding o'er the moor, I met the farmer's daughter. Her chair with kicks in a slow black eyes that caused my heart to falter. Well, I bought my bonnet very low to let her know my meaning. She answered with a courteous smile, or else they were engaging. Oh, where you found my pretty maid? It's now in the morning early. And the answer that she made to me kind of to sell me barley. Here we go. Well, of twenty guineas in me purse and twenty more cheerly. You need not go to the market now, I'll buy all your barley. The twenty guineas will gain the love of me I love so dearly. All for to toil with me one night, go home in the morning early. Yeah. Well, as I was riding o'er the moor the very evening after, it was my fortune for to meet that same old farm daughter. Although the weather be cold and raw with her, I thought to parley. But the answer that she made to me, kind sir, I sold me barley. It's cold and raw, the north winds blow, but I reckon the morning early. And all the hills were covered with snow, and then it was winter barely. As I was riding o'er the moor, I met the farmer's daughter. The chair were kicked in a slow black eyes that caused my heart to falter. So how did she say no? How did she say no? She made sure she sold all her barley so when he asked her the next day, she wouldn't have any and, and she could just step out of the entire situation. Pretty, pretty smart uh, 
if you ask me. Okay. All right. Um, I wish I could take questions. I love taking questions, but this is a non-interactive and it's a streamer. So. This is a song about the ballad of Oshin. I'm waving to one of my, come on in, yeah. of Oshin and Neve Kinnor. Uh, Oshin is spelled O-S-O-I-N. Uh, it's an Irish uh, spelling. Uh, and Neve is spelled N-I-A-M-H. It's, it's not a phonetic language. Uh, Neve Kinnor is the queen of the fairies, okay? And Tirnanog is, is, is essentially the place where time stops in Celtic folklore. And in this song, uh, Neve Kinnor comes to the mortal world to take Oshin to heaven. She wants to marry him. She's fallen in love with him. He's a, he's a poet warrior. Back then, the, the warriors were poets. They were artists as well, okay? And so this is the song of how he goes there but starts to uh, long for his, his people back home. And uh, she grants him one trip back. And you'll see in this song, it doesn't quite work out, again, the way that he wants it to work out. So the, the story of uh, Neve Kinnor and Oshin, Tirnano. dreams in your eyes so you may return to your country so take my blessing with this one command do not dismount from your fairy steed He reached that misty island uh, So strange a sight did meet his puzzled frown For Oshin rode as a giant among the people And where were 
the Fiona to be found. He learned from the gathering of workers together strained in with the heavy load that centuries before his friends had perished sad tidings of which filled him with despair as payment for the news that we have told you Pray help us with this heavy stone to move For if your strength to match your mighty stature Scarce more than a touch of should prove But the saddle tore as O'Sheen leaned to help them Sorely he upon the ground was thrown. He quickly turned into a major man, and there again set eyes on Tierna. No, Thank you, you can yell. <laughs> so he fell off the horse. He was pulled off the horse and he became a mortal man. And he never ever again was able to go back to his beloved uh, Neve Kinnor and, and go back to heaven. So he was the only Irishman to ever uh, to, to, to make it to heaven and come back again and, and live it out in the world. Okay, so fascinating too. Well known in, in Greek or, or in Greek in Celtic folklore. Now I'm going to switch to uh, another instrument here. There we go. And um, this song, I played it on my show last Saturday. I forgot I had recorded this. Okay, I forgot that I had done this song. And uh, so I haven't probably done this in five years or ten years or something like that. I'm going to have to take my mask off. Uh, but we're 12 feet distance here, uh, and uh, that's because I haven't figured out how to, to, to play through a mask and play a woodwind instrument yet, so, so I'm going to have to take it off like they do. Uh, by the way, I know people are jealous of my mask. My, my wonderful wife made this for me with the books on it there, and I put, put the aluminum on it in my shop so that it doesn't fog up outside, so it's a high-tech mask, okay? Let's see how this works here. You ready for that? This is a song um, about the migrant workers in England, uh, and um, it's a socially conscious song. Uh, I love doing this type of folks. Uh, for my friends who, and we the people and, and up with people who are watching this uh, back in Ohio, hope you are, uh, uh, this is the type of song I really like to do. Uh, the British policy there for the migrant farm workers was that after the season was over, they, they simply just said, get out. That was it. We don't care where you go, what you do, just get out. And uh, for them, the terror time was winter. And this is called the terror time, okay? The bracken will die, streams will run cold and clear, 
And the small birds they'll be going, and it's then that you'll be knowing that the terror time is here. The woods give no shelter for the trees, they are pear. Snow lying all around, and the children they are crying for the beds on which they're lying are frozen to the ground. When you need the warmth of your own humankind, you draw near a town and then the sight of you's offending. The police they soon are sending and you're on the road again. But where will you go and what will you do? Now that the work's all done, and the farmer does not need you, and the council will not heed you, and the terror time is here. The heather will fade, and the bracken will die. Streams will run cold and clear, and the children they are crying for the beds on which they're lying are frozen to the ground. Thank you. All right, now we're going to get the bazooki, and uh, let's do this. Um, I can mention that on YouTube, um, you can make remarks and uh, leave remarks there, and I'd be happy to have you leave remarks about uh, what you heard. And as I mentioned before, if you just tuned in, uh, you can actually rewind right now if you'd like, or just stay with me. And uh, the whole concert will be recorded and will be available on YouTube after we're done here. So uh, you can catch up if you just happen to come on in. Okay. Now, I talked about Willie Taylor and... We'll just go right into the song about Willie Taylor and how he uh, was pressed into the Navy, the British Navy. And as you'll see here in the song, that his wife dress, dresses up like a sailor and goes after him. But as you're going to see, it doesn't quite work out. Okay. put my books back on. <laughs> this is the first time I've sung through a mask. And for you singers out there, you should wear a mask when you sing, if at all possible, because singing like exercising is one of those things that really spreads the virus. You, you breathe hard and so on and so forth. And so, Willie Taylor. Um, <laughs> Make sure it doesn't fall off here. Willie Taylor and his youthful lover, full of mirth and loyalty. They were going to the church to get married. He was pressed and sent to sea. She 
dressed herself up like a sailor. On her breast she wore a star. Beautiful fingers, long and slender, she gave them all just a smear of tar. On the trip there been a skirmish, she be one among the rest. A silver button flew off her jacket, and there appeared her snow white breast. Says the captain to this fair maid, what misfortune brought you here? I'm in search of my true lover, whom you pressed on the other year. You're in search of your true lover, pray come tell to me his name. Willie Taylor, they did call him, but Fitzgerald was his name. That you get up tomorrow morning, early as the break of day. There you find your Willie Taylor, walking along with a lady gay. Uh oh She got up the ferry next morning, early as the break of day. And there she found her wedded tailor, a walking along with his lady gay. She drew out to praise the pistol that she brought at her right hand. And then she shot her Willie Taylor and his bride in his right hand. So she ran off, he ran off, found another, I wonder how often that really happened. You know, there was a time when you could escape in the world, not, not now, not with the internet, not with all the inf information technology we have, but back then uh, you, could, you could possibly do that and, and, and try to get away with it. I'm switching instruments again, and these are only the Celtic instruments that I play. I play, what, six more instruments or something like that. But uh, for this one, I just drew this selection here. I'm going to go back to the, to the 12 string. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of tune-up here to, to get this right. And this is the Ballad of Renardine. It's another one of the well-known ballads, like the Ballad of Neve Kinnor and Oisin in, in Irish folklore. Renardine is a half man, half beast creature, okay, that wanders the moors and highlands of Ireland in search of young women and uh, who are usually never ever seen again. But in this rendition of the song, the young woman escapes, okay. Or actually, she doesn't escape. Renardine just loves her so much, he says, oh, what the heck, I'll let you go with a warning. It's in tune? Yeah. So one thing about 12 string, uh, they're, they're hard to tune, but this one stays most mostly. Ren or die. One evening, 
as I rambled Two miles below Palm Roy Met a pretty fair maiden now all on the mountains high I said my pretty fair maiden now your beauty shines so clear Oh, tis on these mountains so high Glad to see ya, hey She said, kind sir, be civil now A company forsake For if my great opinion I fear you are some brain And if my parents they knew of this My life they would destroy For the keeping of your company Upon these mountains high All on the mountains high All on the mountains high For the keeping of On these mountains high I said, my maid, I am no break That the thin need is strained Seeking for advancement All in my father's name But the beauty has enchanted me and I cannot pass you by And that's why I've traveled far from home All on these mountains high All on the mountains high All on the mountains high And that's why I've traveled far from home All on these mountains high I had not kissed her once or twice She came to again Modestly she asked of me Kind sir, what is your name? If you go to yon forest Answer there you'll find Oh, tis written ancient history They call me Renardine They call me Renardine They call me Renardine Oh, tis written ancient history They call me Renardine Fair pretty maidens now, you wouldn't take by me. Beware of your common ways and shun that company. For if you do, I'll surely rue until the day you die. And beware of meeting Renardine upon these mountains high. All on the mountains high, all on the mountains high, and beware of meeting Renardine on these mountains That's one of my favorites. <laughs>
And that is, I do have CDs for sale. You'll find them on, on internet. I haven't updated my internet site in forever, but uh, you, can, you can find them there. So let me switch instruments again. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, and uh, come off of there. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes, okay. The next song I'm gonna do is not a Celtic song, but if I don't do it, people will will overload the internet and cause a, uh, a problem here or something, but this, this is one that I absolutely have to do. This is another song that uh, I got from my radio show, but it's a well-known, very well-known song, and uh, for a large portion, of my musical career, um, I was an instrumentalist. I didn't sing. Those those words were just something out there, you know. They, they were there, but I didn't didn't pay much attention to the words. And then one day, I was doing the bluegrass portion of my show, which runs from uh, two to five p.m. on 91.9 here in in Frostburg. We wish we could we could. Um, could webcast, but it costs so much because of the rights, we just can't afford to do that. So if you want to catch my show, you got to come to Frostburg. Okay, that's one of the big pluses here. Been doing it for 30 years. And this song was so special to me that I ordered and commissioned this instrument so I could play this song. This is the, this is the real reason I got the sit turn, though I branched off, obviously, but this was the song. <clears throat> I could tell that, that it would just sit so well on this, and this is one of my award-winning songs. Uh, I heard Tony Rice do it, but I'd heard Gordon Lightfoot sing it millions of times. Again, I didn't pay much to it, pay much attention to it, and then I listened to the, the words that one day and I just said, oh my God, what a song. And my wife, Teddy, who's behind the camera today, by the way, um, had to listen to it a few million times <laughs> until I got it. This is the wreck of the Edinburgh Fitzgerald. This is a modern, a modern shipwreck. Thanks to Gordon Lightfoot for writing it. Well, the legend lives on from the Chippewa down Of the big lake they call Gitchy's Boom The big lake, it said, never gives up her dead When the gales of November come or day With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more Than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed him That good ship and crew was a bone to be chewed When the gales of November came early The ship was the pride of the American side When she came back from the mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, she was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Including some terms with a couple of steel firms When she left fully loaded for Cleveland And later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind she'd been feeling? The wind in the wires made a tattletale sound and a wave it broke over the raven And everyone knew what the captain did too Was the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the winds of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane, west wind. When 
When supper time came, the old cook come on deck. He said, fella, she's too rough to feed ya. And it's 7 p.m., the main hatchway caved in. He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, they had a water coming in. And the good ship and crew were in peril. Later that night, when the lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes When the waves turn the minutes to hours The searchers all say she'd have made White Fish Bay If she'd got 15 more miles behind her Well she might have split up and she might have kept eyes She might have broke deep and took water All that remains are the faces and the names Of the wives and the sons and the daughters Lake Huron rose and superior sings In the rooms of her ice water mansions Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams the islands and bays of the sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in all Lake Erie can send her And the iron boats score as the mariners know With the gales of November remembered In a musty old hall in Detroit they pray At the Maritime Sailors Cathedral The church bell it chimed till it rang twenty-nine Times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald And the legend lives on from the Chippewa Down of the big black they call Kitchikumi They said never gives up her dead When the gales of November come early Thank you. Wow, I had this time perfectly. Well, I'm getting worn out and you probably are too, watching that little computer screen. So I'm gonna go do one number on the hammer dulcimer here to finish up. If I didn't do that, people would, would plug up the internet too. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm gonna finish with a song that, well it's not a song, <laughs> okay. Though, though what, a, what a, a musician is supposed to do is, is, is make the instrument sing. So if you're, if you're playing a musical instrument, the, the ultimate thing is to make it sing. Let's see how she's sounding here. Okay, we got sound. All right, uh, before I go out, I want to thank everybody that's here. Uh, the audience that's here, I want to thank Bill Mandicott and Lee. The, a lot of people uh, went to make this thing work, and I guess it worked because we made it through without a glitch. Uh, the, the folks in information technology worked with me to get a computer that would work. Our wonderful cultural event series here, uh, a lot of them are here, big, big, big help. Uh, the, the folks over in, in information technology, the folks in, in audiovisual helped out, the FSU library, and just general, uh, being a professor here for 30 years, 
Uh, being in a university that supports uh, people who are diverse such as myself and, and puts up with folks like this. So this last piece actually has a link to Frostburg State University. Uh, I came up with the piece and I did not have a name for it. And I often perform for my classes, or I did before the pandemic, and I can't wait to do it after the <laughs> pandemic. Uh, because I want them uh, to know that uh, you can be a, a musician and you can also be a scientist, and I'm a physicist, uh, an antimatter physicist, as weird as that sounds. Uh, and I played this one day and said I didn't have a name for it, and I said, if anybody's got a name for it, uh, you know, come up and let me know. And someone came up and said, well, you know, it reminds me of Ocean City after one of those nor'easters has come through, the wake of a storm, you know, after it's plowed through, you know, these things. And I said, you know what, I think you're right. I, 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 think, I think it does sound like that. So this is the wake of the storm. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, once again, this will be on YouTube. You can watch it uh, anytime you want. And I appreciate your comments there that you can make on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you.